Hi there! In this video, I'm going to talk about how I go about making a character reference sheet, or ref sheet for short. The character I drew in this video is my partner's persona. Go check out his channel if you haven't already. I'll link it below. I also have reference sheet commissions open, so if you ever want something like this from me, feel free to contact me through any of my social medias. When making a ref sheet, I like to draw three poses, a front facing view, a side view, and a back view. I drew a furry character in this video, but I use the same rules when making a dragon, human, or any other creature reference sheet. The first thing I do when making a ref sheet is the front facing full body. To make this drawing symmetrical, all I have to do is draw half of the character and then just duplicate that and flip it. I usually do this body part by body part, as you can see in the time lapse. I don't draw the entire first half of the character and then flip it, because sometimes that makes the drawing look a bit wonky. I'll start off by drawing the ear, copy, paste, flip that, and then draw the eyes, and flip that, then the mouth, and flip that, and so on, rather than doing the entire half and then flipping it. When doing this front facing full body, I find it very important to make sure I'm drawing the mouth open. This is so that anyone who's using your rep sheet to draw or make a suit of your character has full access to all of the colors that your character has. If you have the mouth closed, then how is anyone going to know what color the inside of the mouth is? For example, Mizzle here has a blue mouth, but if his mouth was closed, no one would know that. It is an option to keep the mouth of your character closed and make a separate detail somewhere on the ref sheet showing the mouth colors, but I find it's easiest to fit as much into one drawing as possible, to keep my ref sheets nice and simple, and not too cluttered. Another thing I like to do in my reference sheets is have the arms and hands spread out. This is so that you can show off what the entire hand looks like, especially the pop heads. I like to have the front facing piece have their palms backwards because that makes it so their hand pop pads and their feet pop pads are all viewed in the same piece, which is the back view. But you can also have them facing their palms forwards if that's something you prefer. What I do for the back view of the character is I just copy and paste the front view, flip it, and then I erase everything on the inside and just redraw the inside with what the back view looks like. You can see Mizzle's tail is actually not visible on the front view, but it is visible on the back view. However, you can't really see the full details of the tail in any of the three drawings, so I actually put another extra detail on the top of the reference sheet just to make sure it's clear how the tail looks. If there are any details on your character that aren't visible on at least one of the three profiles, I definitely recommend making a separate little information piece about the detail that is missing, so that anyone looking at the ref sheet will see the detail and know it exists, like I did with Mizzle's tail. No one would know he had three little brown spots on his tail if I didn't make this little detail appear. When drawing the side profile, I actually copy and paste a lot of stuff from the front profile. I copied the arm, hair, ears, and cheeks all from Mizzle's front profile for his side profile. On my ref sheets, I also like to include images of the front, side, and back profile with clothing. It's not necessary, but more just a fun little detail that I like to give my ref sheets. A very important rule of ref sheets is to never shade them. A reference sheet is meant to show the base colors for your character, and if the piece is shaded and someone uses it as a reference, they're going to draw your character with all the wrong colors. A ref sheet doesn't just consist of drawings, it also consists of information. The most important information I like to put on my ref sheets is the name of the character, the species of the character, the character's pronouns, the paw pad colors of the character, and color palette swatches. I like to give everything a nice white outline and then I give everything a little bit of a shadow. And that's how I do my reference sheets. I use these main three poses because I find they show off the most important details of a character. However, if you have any ideas on other poses that work, let me know in the comments because I'd love to hear your ideas on how y'all make your reference sheets. I hope this video was helpful. Have a nice day or night, like and subscribe, and thank you so much for watching.